continue our battleground PA coverage with Tim Walls heading to Central PA after last night's vice presidential debate. Jasmine Brooks joins us live from York, taking a closer look at how other voters across PA are reacting to that debate. And Jasmine, there were so many opinions on both sides about this. Oh, absolutely. And I talked to obviously a lot of Tim Wall supporters here tonight who say he nailed it and they were happy to hear with exactly what he said. You know, we know that Pennsylvania is a key battleground state and even John Fetterman tonight said it is up to Pennsylvanians and we make the vote. So how crucial really is it for President Trump, Vice President Harris to win Pennsylvania? Voters, they are divided. In Bucks County, for example, here's just a small sample of how Harris Wall supporters were reacting to the debate in real time. Take a listen. I think any debate is difficult. I think he's sticking to the topics and he's talking about things that are important to Pennsylvania voters and lots of Democrats. So I'm pretty happy so far. Meanwhile, several Trump and Van supporters thought the debate was going well for their party, with some saying they were frustrated with how one aspect of it was handled. I think if the moderators would stop cutting him off, he could answer his questions a little better. But I think overall he's doing very good. A CBS News poll reveals that 42% of watchers thought that J.D. Vance won the debate. That's 42%. 41%, I mean, talk about a thin margin, thinking Tim Walls won. Now, despite those numbers, 60% 60, 60 of viewers say they have a, quote, favorable view of Walls compared to just 49% for J.D. Vance. Of course, both presidential campaigns are focusing on seven swing states that could tip the scales on the election in this neck to neck race. We know that former President Donald Trump is coming back to Pennsylvania, Butler to be exact, on Saturday. And for more on this key, key state, let's go to Matt Galka. There were multiple times in the vice presidential debate where both candidates tried to speak directly to the undecided voters tuning in. Ask yourself at home, when, when was the last time, I'm 40 years old, when was the last time that an American president didn't have a major conflict break out? The only answer is during the four years that Donald Trump was president. Those of you listening, this is critical to you. Now, Donald Trump all of a sudden wants to go back and remember this. He ran on the first thing he was going to do on day one was to repeal Obamacare. And it's those undecided voters in a handful of key states that could sway the entire election. New swing state polling released Wednesday from the nonpartisan Cook Political Report shows just how tight the margins are. Vice President Kamala Harris was leading, but barely head to head against Donald Trump in five swing states. Trump was ahead by two points in Georgia, and the two candidates were tied in North Carolina. Any lead Harris or Trump had was within the margin of error of the poll, meaning it's still a toss up in the states that might decide the whole thing. Both campaigns game planning for every election scenario. So we wanted to show you a couple. This is the electoral map with the blacked out states, those swing states we've been talking about. But the entire election could come down to Pennsylvania. For example, if the vice president were to sweep the Rust Belt and then capture the Keystone State, she gets to 270. She wins the election. But on the other hand, if the former president were to capture Pennsylvania and also sweep these southern states down here, that's 270. The rest of the map doesn't matter. The map math explains the focus of both campaigns this week. Walls hit Pennsylvania for his first post-debate stop while Vance went to Michigan. Harris surveyed storm damage in Georgia before planned visits to the Rust Belt. Meanwhile, Trump will swing through North Carolina and Michigan before returning to the site of his near assassination in Pennsylvania. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Gelker.